Welcome back friends. So in this particular session, we will be continuing our discussion which we had related to the assignment model. So in this session, we are going to take some problem which we face. Let's take our first case, when, which is named as unbalanced assignment problem. So in the unbalanced assignment problem, let's take an example once again. Let's say you have only four persons, but you have five jobs. It means, uh, can we solve this math problem with the help of assignment model? Yes, we can still solve this model, with, uh, this particular problem with the assignment model, or you have a vice versa case. that you have a five uh, jobs and four person, or four jobs, five person. So you want to take a decision, which person to be not given with the job. How should we take the, uh, this type of decisions? So taking this type of decision, we use again assignment model. We will again use the Hungarian model, but we will be having a one additional step. What is additional step? We will make this, which is a, un, because you say, uh, I said in the Hungarian model, we need to have a, a balance matrix. That is size of matrix should be same. The number of rows should equal to number of column. That means if there are four jobs, four person, but in our case, it is not the same. So how should we proceed? So to solve this particular unbalanced problem, for example, in our case, we have only five jobs and four persons are available. So for to doing this five jobs, what you will do is you are going to create a dummy person. Dummy person in the mean, so what we are not going to hire a new person. But what we are going to do, we are just going to take a dummy person and we are going to assign a cost to that particular dummy person. But what will be the cost? The cost for that is zero because that person doesn't exist and that person is not actually going to do, do that job. So we are going to put the value zero for this dummy person. So with this adding a dummy person, our matrix has become a balance matrix. That means we have now five jobs and five persons. So what we should, how should we solve it now? Now this becomes a normal problem, which we has used as a Hungarian model, which was a balanced matrix. So similar problem has become. So we can solve this problem by using the same Hungarian model and try to solve the problem with the similar steps, which we mentioned in the last session. So we will be following same steps and try to solve. So what will be the final solution? The solution to this kind of problem would be that we are going to get a person with the, uh, a dummy person will be given with a job. That means that job which is given to a dummy person, that job we are not going to perform. Let's discuss another uh, issue which we face, which we can use in the practical life, which where we can use assignment model. See, we have said assignment model is used when you have a minimization. You want to minimize the cost, but can't, can, can't this model be used if we want to maximize our profits or maximize the revenue or maximize the sales in a particular region or maximizing the outreach of our program in a particular region? How should we go ahead with those kind of situation? Can we apply assignment model? Answer is again, yes, we can apply assignment model, we can apply Hungarian model, but we need to do some little modifications. So what modification we are going to make in that? So we are going to those make those modification, we are going to rewrite again the matrix which is given to us. So but this matrix is not a cost matrix, it is given as a profit matrix. So our revenue matrix. So we will convert this profit matrix or revenue matrix into a loss matrix. How we will convert that loss matrix? So we will convert this matrix in the loss matrix by selecting uh, from the whole matrix of all cells, we will select what is the maximum value. So we will check what is the maximum value and that maximum value cell will take that particular cell and from this particular value, we are going to subtract all the values in the matrix. That means all cells will be subtracted from this particular highest value. So that derived matrix which we are going to obtain is named as loss matrix. So the loss matrix is nothing, it's just similar to our cost matrix. So this cost matrix we can apply 
the similar method which we have used are the earlier models that is the Hungarian model we can use similarly and find out the solution for our problem. Friends, this would be a very interesting exercise. Why? Because when you are going to do this, this is going to help you to make your assignment not, but you are going to do the opportunity cost, you are going to calculate all those things and finally you are going to get the solution and that solution, the beauty of the solution is, it is giving you the maximization answer because you are going to read the solution from the original table that is profit table on the basis of assigned values in the loss matrix which is derived matrix. So this is the way we can solve the practical issues with the help of similar assignment model, similar Hungarian model and Hungarian model can give you the solution to your maximization problem as well as the unbalanced problem. Friends, if we have any time, any problem which is a maximization also, which is unbalanced also, so my suggestion to you is first go for the converting maximization problem into minimization and then after make that unbalanced problem into a balanced problem. Don't start with firstly with the converting unbalanced into balanced, then converting maximization to minimization. That can create little complication for solving. Okay, thank you friends.